NARAL Pro-Choice Maryland uh, has been on the front lines fighting for reproductive freedom for 40 years. Uh, that's a very long time. Uh, we were fortunate to have them in our corner, obviously, during the Trump administration as they fought back tirelessly uh, when there were attempts to roll back reproductive protections. The Trump administration is now behind us, but the Trump courts will be with us for a very long time. So it's critical that they continue their important work today, closing gaps in protections and coverage wherever they may be across the state, working to defeat anti-choice legislation as well. Every General Assembly session, they are advocating to protect and strengthen reproductive rights on the state level. And I can tell you from firsthand experience that they've been extremely effective. So I was glad to join Council Members Reamer and Jawando recently to present them with a proclamation from the Council at their recent 40th anniversary celebration in Silver Spring. And it's equally important to celebrate them publicly today. So I want to congratulate NARAL Pro-Choice Maryland on their 40th anniversary for all they've done for women and reproductive freedoms. That's a long time to be contributing so much to our, our community. And given the status of our and, uh, political environment right now, there's a lot more work to be done. All of us are, continued, are committed to continuing our great partnership with them. Um, in particular, I want to thank all their volunteers, their staff, their fantastic board of directors, and especially Executive Director Diana Phillip for her continued leadership and for being here today. It's truly an honor to be with all of you to celebrate this great, this 40th anniversary that's quite an accomplishment. Let me turn it over to Council Member Navato. Thank you, uh, Mr. Uh, President. I am very uh, excited to join you on this proclamation. Of course, as the only woman currently uh, serving on this council, I really do wanna use this as an opportunity to highlight the importance of encouraging young women to get active in issues at all levels of government, no matter how seemingly trivial it is really important. I also want to stress that we live in a world now where hard won gains in our reproductive freedoms in this country could be curtailed nationally and women cannot afford to stay silent. Organizations like NARAL Pro-Choice Maryland have long acted as conduit for young women to organize and really learn about what modern advocacy entails all while promoting a woman's rights to choose. Leaders have been and continue to be shaped by this fight. And as I approach the end of my time as a council member, I feel a sense of pride when I see how many young women and women of all ages, in particular BIPOC women, are working with organizations like NARAL Pro-Choice Maryland to hone their leadership skills. I want to end by thanking NARAL Pro-Choice Maryland for their hard work and dedication in the fight to protect women's reproductive rights. You all have been great voice for this important issue, a great training ground for future leaders. And I personally cannot wait to see what's next in these uh, 40 years ahead, at least uh, what that will bring for your organization. As a mother of two young adult, young women, uh, this is really, really critically important uh, for all of us. And we must always uh, stand tall and fight for our reproductive rights. And I also wanna thank all the men that continually join us in this fight. Thank you. Thank you. Well said. Okay. Well, so uh, without further, oh, uh, Councilmember Friedson and then uh, Ms. Phillip. Councilmember Friedson. Yeah, just quickly want to uh, join, say thank you for everything that you've done 40 years of empowerment. Choice is not only freedom, it's power. Uh, power over your, your body, power over your choices, power over your uh, ability to realize your uh, full potential. And I really do appreciate uh, you and your team and NARAL uh, more broadly for the evidence-based approach to these important uh, issues and this important uh, work. Too often evidence is not part of the conversation on these issues because they tend to be very uh, emotional uh, issues and very uh, deeply embedded issues on all sides. And so uh, your ability to create those connections and uh, put forward uh, data and evidence uh, to demonstrate the impact and the importance of these issues is just absolutely essential. Uh, and it really does uh, not only bring a voice to uh, protect uh, women's rights uh, and, and uh, uh, reproductive freedom, uh, but also ensures that everybody understands the full breadth uh, and magnitude of these issues, which expand far beyond what uh, some often think they do. So thank you for 40 years of advocacy, of empowerment, uh, and of securing uh, freedom for, for women in Maryland and beyond. Thank you so much. Uh, Diana? Thank you, Montgomery County Council, for this proclamation. We really appreciate it. Montgomery County was the home when we started 40 years ago. 
And so it's really um, wonderful to have this partnership with you. We're very grateful that we've had the opportunity in the last few years to build more capacity to do more local work. So we look forward to approaching your council about other things that we can do in your local communities to meet people where they really are in their lives. And I really um, appreciate uh, um, Ms. Navarro's and, um, um, remarks and acknowledgement about how important it is for young people to be a part of this movement. We've had over 120 interns now in the last few years that have learned about the policy and political arm of this important movement. And we're with great pride that we launch them out into the world to be leaders in our movement. And to the, to the men that are here uh, who have all, I believe, benefited at one point in their lives, reproductive freedom and reproductive rights. And so this is uh, reproductive rights and our reproductive freedom is key to economic security and liberty. And this is something that people do not think enough about, unfortunately, and the reason why we stay vigilant and determined to protect and advance anything that we possibly can regarding pregnancy and all its complexity. And the fact that we honor pregnancy and all its complexity, the right to form our families if, when, and how we choose and to parent in dignity in good health and in safety. So thank you. Thank you for the acknowledgement. We appreciate it. The encouragement, everything. It's what we need to hear every day, but sometimes this is a tough gig. And it's really very difficult every day to look at the news and see the types of um, restrictions that are being passed across the nation. And I can't emphasize enough how important Maryland is and how we have people from the Eastern part of the United States and across the globe that come to Maryland and get those services that they need through abortion care, especially later abortion care. So thank you. Thank you for your support. Terrific. Thank you so much, Diana. Um, okay, uh, we will uh, can read the proclamation. Um, Councilmember Navarro, you'll follow me, right? And then Councilmember Friedson. So this is a proclamation of the Montgomery County Council, whereas NARAL Pro-Choice Maryland launched in Silver Spring in 1981 is the only statewide organization dedicated to protecting and promoting the reproductive freedom of all people living in Maryland. And whereas over the past 40 years, NARAL Pro-Choice Maryland mm -hmm. has engaged in countless activities to build and sustain a strong and vibrant reproductive rights community, which is essential to liberty and economic security. Whereas Maryland is fortunate to have NARAL Pro-Choice Maryland engaged in statewide outreach, policy research, and coalition building to identify issues that affect reproductive freedom and create issue-specific campaigns to raise public awareness and organize allies to act and Whereas the members of NARAL Pro-Choice Maryland are dedicated to advancing reproductive health, rights, and justice, and passing pro-choice measures or defeating anti-choice bills, and ensuring lawmakers hear from their constituents regarding issues affecting reproductive freedom and bodily autonomy, and... Whereas NARAL Pro-Choice Maryland is celebrating its 40th anniversary this month, it will continue its mission to develop and sustain a constituency that uses the political process to guarantee everyone the right to make personal decisions regarding the full range of reproductive choices, including preventing unintended pregnancy, bearing healthy children, and accessing safe abortion care. Now, therefore, be it resolved that the County Council of Montgomery County, Maryland, hereby congratulates NARAL Pro-Choice Maryland, and be it further resolved that the County Council officially congratulates NARAL Pro-Choice Maryland on 40 years of protecting the right to choose. Presented on the 13th day of July, the year 2021, signed by Council Member Navarro and myself. Thank you so much for all your great work. Thank we you. Look forward to the next 40 years. Awesome. Thank you so much. Thank you.